With every new fighting game release comes a wave of new players, most of whom claim that they suck at fighting games. But we don't want that to be your experience with Street Fighter V, so we've put together this short list of basic tips to help you improve your fundamentals. Jumping is a bad idea in Street Fighter. It locks you into moving in a preset arc, limits your offensive options, and eliminates all your defensive ones. Players tend to jump when they feel that they're losing the ground game, so be sure to have your best anti-air ready. For example, Ryu's crouching heavy punch is a great way to punish opponents who have recklessly started taking to the skies. Footsies are when two players try to outpoke each other with their best normal attacks, very often involving their feet. The first thing you should do when picking up a new character is identify their fastest, farthest reaching normal attacks. Practice using these at their maximum ranges to chip away at your opponent and to control as much space as you can. Ryu's crouching medium kick and Birdie's standing medium kick are both excellent examples of good footsie tools. Now let's talk combo theory. Combos allow you to maximize the damage you deal per opportunity you find. Even learning a basic two-hit combo to hit someone with when they're open can greatly improve your win rate. The most basic way of forming a combo is to cancel a normal move into a special one by quickly inputting the command for the second move immediately after the first. Keep in mind, not every normal move can be canceled in this way, and which ones can be is different from character to character. Experiment with canceling a variety of your character's normal moves into special ones, like Ryu's crouching medium kick into fireball. Learning what to do when you or your opponent have been knocked down is essential. When you're on the ground, opponents will try to pressure you as you stand up, or wake up. Identify a good reversal move to wake up with to make aggressive opponents pay. Reuse Dragon Punch is ideal for this. When your opponent is lying down on the job, keep your momentum going by timing your attacks to their wake up. Consider blocking as they get up too, if you think they're going to wake up with a strong move like a Dragon Punch. This way, you can hit them afterwards when they're vulnerable. Your red V meter and your blue EX meter are important resources. V meter powers your V reversal and V trigger, two powerful new tools. V reversal allows you to break out of pressure while blocking. V trigger is a unique ability for each character, like Birdie's, which makes all of his head based attacks deal more hits and damage. This meter builds by taking damage or by making effective use of your V skill. Accumulated V meter goes away at the end of the round, so use it or lose it. Your EX meter fuels EX specials, which are juiced up versions of existing moves, and your critical art, a single incredibly powerful attack you can use to inflict huge burst damage on your opponent. This meter is built up by most offensive or defensive actions, but carries over between rounds. Sometimes, if you're about to lose a round, it's best not to burn any meter on an improbable comeback and just save it to come out strong next round. So that's it, 5 simple tips that any beginner can follow to greatly improve at Street Fighter. Happy fighting and we'll see you online. For much more on Street Fighter V, keep it here on IGN.